Okay guys, I know that I look horrible, but we were walking the truck and I just found the house plant. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let me go and grab it. Pick. back to my channel today we will talk about my passion because once again I rescued the houseplant I actually already mentioned it in my previous video so if you haven't seen it yet I will leave a link over here it was a fun weekend vlog where I went camping with Rocky I met another youtuber and you know all of this fun stuff so if you want to hang out go ahead and watch it after watching this video obviously but today we will talk about another rescue story, another successful and happy rescue story. I'm looking at this plant right now. It's gorgeous, guys. It's really gorgeous. I'm so excited to share it with you. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning, right? So I was walking my dog Rocky this weekend. I think it was Sunday. It's, it doesn't matter. So I was walking my dog and we were once again, actually this weekend I was really in the mood to rescue a houseplant. I know this sounds weird, but I was really in the mood to do it. I'm really sorry if I'm smirking too much because sun is really bright right now, but I really want to film this video. So let's go with it, right? So we were walking and I just felt really inspired to find a plant, you know, to film the whole video and have another happy rescue story. So what we did with Rocky we actually went on a really really long walk it was almost two hours walk and I was just scrolling our neighborhood you know I visited almost every single place I could in my neighborhood for those who are new on my channel I live in apartment building area so there are no you know uh, personal um, personal guidance or anything every single place over here is public because all of us are living in the apartments so we don't own any land so people just tend to leave house plants next to the garbage containers areas where other people can rescue them and this weekend wasn't an exception and they found a gorgeous euphorbia okay yes euphorbia and this euphorbia is actually over a meter long it's not very small i actually have a bunch of small houseplant rescues this is not one of them so okay without further ado let me show you it Doo -doo 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 -doo. actually it needs a little shower so we'll do this as well but first off look at these gorgeous green leaves they are dusty as you can tell so they need a shower but this is so easy to do right but just look at the size of it doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. so okay, okay. it's tall <laughs> it's really tall and okay let me put it on my chair so as you can tell it's a very nice tiny but not that tiny looking palm and I rescued it <laughs> I cannot believe I actually never ever seen this specific euphorbia leuconera in any of our houseplant store big box store anywhere else so if you want to have or own a euphorbia leuconera you probably need to look for them in other people's you know houses so you need to swap with somebody or, or something because for some reason they are not that popular anymore even though when it was maybe 10 years ago they were one of the most popular house plants in Lithuania where I live so it's actually not my first rescue to for Belokonera let me put it a little bit to the side for now actually two years ago I rescued another one it's a little bit thirsty but I did not want it to water it as you can tell it's a little bit smaller but it's so cute I have two of them two very cute palms right they look cute from every single side from this you can see a little bit more of a body of it right 
so I did not water them as you can tell they are really talkative plants whenever they are thirsty they will show you by wilting a little bit of their leaves but I did not water them because I want to plant all of these palms in one and same pot and make it a little bit more full and cool looking composition right so instead of having a couple pots with same plants I can put them all in one pot and that's what I'm gonna do in the second part of this video so when I saw this awesome looking another euphoria I was like oh yeah I know what I'm gonna do with you <laughs> once again I have no idea why somebody threw it away it was actually growing in a mayo uh, bucket <laughs> a bucket from mayo so I think maybe it was a little bit too big and people just got rid of it because it's actually leaning a little bit so when I was carrying this thing home it was a little bit of a struggle because in one hand I was holding um, the leash of my German Shepherd and you know I won't always need to be on alert in case he will see a cat or something right and in another hand I was holding this very wobbly plant <laughs> it was a really nice view for for my neighbors but anyways so enough mumbling guys I think we will go to the ground right now and repot these guys into one same pot actually if you have one of or if you're on the look for one just keep in mind that they are a little bit poisonous so keep it in mind because whenever you touch them a little bit too harsh they will have that white sap looking like a milk so be careful while reporting don't do not touch your face or anything so okay we might see some of the sap in today's video <laughs> enough rumbling let's get a little bit lower to the working position and let's do some business what you doing baby this is my channel oh my gosh you want to say something to people? People, 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 people. I just stood out of this chair and guess who came? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm preparing the reporting spot, so give me a sec. And we are back in my reporting station. <laughs> okay. So I bet you have the main question, okay, why did somebody throw away this houseplant? Probably there's something really wrong with it. I bet there are some pests, right? Well, guys, I actually checked on all of the leaves, on all over the stem, and there's not a single bug. So just like I mentioned, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I was moving all of the stuff around. So just like I mentioned, most likely it was just got a little bit too big and a little bit unstable just like I said because it's really wobbly as you can tell it's it's really wobbly <laughs> so that might be the case in my opinion I mean we will never know and that's what hurts the most but right now it will have a very loving home and I'm really happy to give it one you know so without further ado let's report these babies into one same pot so i have this gorgeous terracotta pot that months ago i decided to decorate so i almost all of it painted in white paint i know <laughs> how artsy right i might actually if i won't be too lazy add some pictures in here but for now this is what we will be working with so first of all i want to take both of these plants out of the pots and then we will put them all in the hair. So first off, maybe let's add some bottom layer of soil. I have a shovel. <laughs> I hope I won't need it. Okay, so as always, I'm looking for something a little bit bigger to put on a hole. And I love these hair looking things. I actually have no idea how they are called, but they work perfectly. They work perfectly. Okay. So adding little bottom layer, doo -doo 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 -doo. some wood because why not? Gorgeous! I'm so excited, guys. You have no idea. Okay, so we have bottom layer of soil. I'll put this pot aside for now. So let's take maybe first of this tiny duo. Actually, have. Okay, I have a snail, 
uh, shell over here from the garden. Don't ask why, I don't remember. It's been there for two years now. It's actually, since I rescued it two years ago, this specific plant, it was in the same pot, so it's, I bet it's really time to repot it. So it's a very nice timing to rescue another one. Oh, okay, so the roots on this one are so healthy, but a little bit dry, which isn't ideal, but that's my fault. So I want the roots to be a little bit more, you know, loose, because I will try to pot both of these plants in the same pot, so I need to put them very close to each other somehow. Oof. That's actually a pretty good soil. That's nice. Oh my gosh. I used to watch other plantubers videos and see how they would destroy the root ball and would say, your plant will appreciate it. And I was like, mm, no. <laughs> but you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it as well right now. It hurts. It really hurts. Okay, I think, I think this will be kind of okay, right? It's pretty loose. It's very nice. For now I'll put it over here, just in case I was quarantining this plant from the other houseplants I own, because you never know, and every single day I would come and check on it, just, you know, in case any new bugs would appear or something, but they didn't, so I'm really happy about it. Okay, well this soil looks completely the same as, oh, uh, here we go, the white sap. Do you see it over here? I'll try to put it a little bit closer. Rocky, no! Oh my gosh, you scared the heck out of me. Oh my gosh, heart attack. Okay, so I'm losing this one as well. It's painful as well. So guys, how are you doing? Maybe you have any content ideas? Because I'll be honest, in couple last weeks I wasn't feeling myself and I was already talking about it it wasn't fun <laughs> so maybe you have any content that you want me to see you uh, not well me to make and you to see <laughs> actually today is already Wednesday so very soon there will be a house plan swap so I cannot wait for that I cannot wait to share it with you as well but after that, I have no idea. Well, probably I'll have new plans to share, so we'll see. Okay, so this looks fine for me. So I want to put it a little bit aside. I'm making a mess. My boyfriend, once again, only yesterday washed all of the floors. Side note, because I have a back problems, so most of the time... Oh, there's a lot of white sap. Do you see it on my fingers? Yeah, so I know they have pretty big spine problems, back problems, so most of the time he's the one who is washing the floors, and I love him for that. Okay, how does it look? I think it looks fabulous, isn't it? You actually can see everything. Okay. Okay, so let's fill in this pot, and then we will chat more, because right now I'm busy, sorry. <laughs> Just in case. We'll add a little trellis to hold it at least a little bit. But for now it looks like kind of holding on. It looks fabulous. It looks really fabulous. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So uh, it's a very heavy table with a broken leg. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you what we have as a DN product. I actually have a little, little tiny stick, so I will put it like this. I will attach it like so with some rope, just in case to keep it, you know, in place. Guys, look at this. This is amazing. I couldn't ask for a better combo, right? Let me put it on the ground. Right, guys, look at this. This is really adorable, and this is just the perfect match to make this awesome houseplant even more awesome, isn't it? I'm so, so excited, guys. Look at it. It's fabulous, it's gorgeous. Right now, what I will do, I will take it to the shower. Oh, don't touch my monster. 
I will take it to the shower, I will wash every single leaf with it. I will be careful because as you can tell, there was a white sap I was talking about, so the soil stuck to it, you can see right now the spots, right? So I will wash them all nice from the dust, you know, from all of the old dirt and they will have a very nice beginning in this apartment and I'm so excited! <laughs> So this is it for today's rescue story. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did because I really did enjoy it. I mean, look at it. Look at this new specimen. If you would want to buy this size, you know, pot with three awesome, gorgeous houseplants inside, all three of them have different heights, just like the people do it in the nurseries, right? You would definitely leave at least 50 bucks, right? That's my guess. At least 50 bucks. I might be wrong. Since they're not that common, I bet this might be the truth. But anywho, thank you so much for joining another rescue story on my channel. And before leaving you, I will teach you another language lesson, just like we always do. So since we were talking about a white terracotta pot, let me teach you how to say color white in Russian, Lithuanian and probably Polish. I mean, I think I know how in Polish is color white, but just in case if I don't and if I get it wrong, I will edit it out so you won't see it. <laughs> but anywho, if you want to say color white in Lithuanian, you need to say Balta Spolva. Once again. Balta spolva. If you want to say color white in Russian, you need to say Bieli tsvet. Once again, Bieli tsvet. And if you want to say color white in Polish, this might be Bieli tsvet. Once again, Bieli tsvet. I might be wrong. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy and excited. <laughs> okay. I won't keep any of you any longer. Thank you so much for joining. Until the next time, subscribe if you want to see more rescue stories because there might be more. <laughs> Please comment. Let's chat about this newest find. Would you rescue it? What do you think? What is the backstory of it? Why somebody threw it away? And like this video if you enjoyed it. Until the next time. Bye.